Hey there, this is Joseph. <laughs> I'm back again. Uh, this time I got a painting. It's an older painting. It's called Final Conflict. And I'm going to step out of the way so you can see it. Because right now I'm just showing you my presence. And I don't have any presence because <laughs> Christmas isn't here yet. <laughs> so you keep watching because I might get down your chimney sometime. So, Final Conflict. This is 16 by 20. Acrylic on canvas board. Um, when I say canvas board, it's on a piece of glorified cardboard covered with canvas. Uh, it was something that I had at one time, and if, if it's there for me to paint on, I'll paint on it. So, this is acrylic on canvas board, 16 by 20. And, of course, one of my favorite subjects is dragons. Uh, and how... We all relate to the dragons in our life. And like I said, this is Final Conflict. So I guess this dragon is, uh, is there's not going to be too many dragons beyond this dragon, but he's preparing to thrust this spear home. So this dragon's coming on. So the velocity of this dragon coming down, and he's going to ram that. So he's going to run that dragon through. What the con, what the outcome is? Well, we we none of us know that, so you have to use your own imagination. That guy might get killed just by the pure weight of that guy dra dragon dropping on him, because this dragon's coming down. So, but the dragon's going to go because this spear is going to go right through him. Uh, in the background, we have our warrior, our. Uh, self-conflicting with the greater beyond and he's on top of a top of a um, mountainy crag high up in the air and there's some other mountains off here and a little heat like there's fire happening and off in the distance because uh, a dragon has been uh, doing his dragon things and this here is kind of like a dwelling structure Kind of primitive like uh, carved out of the rock of the mountain uh, kind of almost like a modern city but just carved right out of this mountaintop and uh, uh, in reality the dragon has very strong arm like almost like a per human being his arms are very strong uh, he's uh, Got four fingers. I guess you could say one. One of them is a thumb, uh, and uh, he's got a little horn on the bridge of his nose, a long snout, sharp teeth, split tongue like a reptile. Uh, he's got a reptilian eye uh, with the uh, uh, kind of a, a golden eye with a black long down the center. Uh, horns, uh, they're short horns, you know, some dragons have big, huge, his horns are short. He's got a little tuff around his jaw right here. It could be uh, kind of like a little gills, kind of spiky type of things around his jaw here. And he's got a little ridge going down his back, and the ridge goes all down his tail. His tail wraps around, very long tail. And this dragon's only got he has no hind legs he's only got his front chest his arms and strength the back part of his body is very much like a reptile uh, so that means when he's on the ground his front legs front arms is, is also his legs and this part he pulls behind him and can probably slither a little bit uh, type of thing He's got wings like a bat <coughs> that uh, emerge out of his sh shoulder blades on his back. Very strong neck, uh, very powerful neck. Uh, he's got claws on the edges of his wings uh, for gripping and holding on to things because they're kind of like a maybe a uh, a second kind of hand in a way, you know, they got sharp, 
claws and he can grab, put your wings around and grab you and pull you to him <clears throat> while he tears you to pieces with his claws and eats you at the same time. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, uh, there's different kinds of dragons. Some dragons have four legs and wings. Some dragons have just hind legs, kind of like a T-Rex and uh, wings. Uh, uh, there's all sorts of kind of dragons, and so then, like I said, this is a not a two-legged dragon. This is a two-armed dragon, because those these are really arms. But his arms are so strong, he can uh, move around just like if there were legs. You know, your legs are much stronger than arms. I don't care who you are. If you're a bodybuilder, you're going to have more power in your legs than you are ever going to have in your arms. But his arms are very powerful, and they're like like his legs. What does the dragon symbolize? The dragons symbolize the overcoming of the elements in life. Uh, it's a, it could be anything from your um, immediate environment. Uh, uh, you could have neighbors that are dragons and are just trying to uh, create you so much just you know misery that you. It's like they're they're monsters out there. Uh, it could be it could be a city government, it could be a corporation, it could be the federal government. There's all sorts of dragons, little dragons, big dragons, but it's always something that is trying to uh, manipulate and control you. Something that, uh, that you're constantly trying to overcome. Sometimes your dragons are within yourself, overcoming your own personal dragons. So a dragon symbolizes anything that you are trying to strive to rise above, overcome. It may be self. It may be something out there in the environment, government, powers to be, Illuminati, uh, the privileged class, world order, government, uh, you name it. Law enforcement, they could be a dragon. Because uh, even though we need law enforcement, but sometimes they can take a person and really run them through the coals, wrestling with a dragon. So it's that's what the dragon represents, anything that you're trying to overcome. Well, we're going to stop talking about dragons, and uh, because I know you guys got some dragons to go out there and slay yourself. So you better get sharpen up your sword, get your spears, and go out there and do them in, because... You don't hide in a little hole because uh, otherwise that's not going to get you nowhere. Uh, anyway, uh, stay tuned to our channel and uh, by uh, pressing that little button underneath the box, uh, we would greatly appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you next time and be aware. Bye-bye.